what I do with my cat. I have this tie out here for my cat, and I put it here, and then I can get these at Walmart, and then I tie this here so nobody trips on it because I don't want anybody tripping. So that's just a poopy bag, a purple one. My cat's over here, and I bought her this cat harness, and they're special for cats. See, they tie around the front and the back. So if you, and then I always have her collar on. Then it has, this is special for cats. This is, you don't want a dog harness, you want a cat one. She's wearing the medium. Okay, they have different sizes for these. So if you have a big cat, you're gonna want a bigger one. And then this little rubber thing ties it in here so it doesn't come off. Okay, and then that's how she gets around. And I let her sit out here and get some fresh air with me. See? That's Missy Moo. She's not so used to walking around the house every day. She has three acres to walk around in. And I feel bad for her because she's always in the RV, even though it's so hot during the day. She doesn't want to be out, but what she does here, see? But she doesn't like walking in. I'm going to show you how funny she walks in. See, she's still she's still unbalanced because she feels it on one side, see? How weird she's walking with it. See how she flop over. And you want to make sure that, that she can't get to the other side of your RV because if a car or something drives on, you want to make sure that um, it's not that long and she's going to get into another spot and somebody's not going to see her and drive over her. So you have to be really careful with the lane to walk around the space. See, she just wants to flop there. So this is how I tie up my tie out. You know those um, strawberry the strawberry boxes that you get strawberries in and they have the little holes on the side. Well, this is the cover. I took it apart and then what I did is I wrap it and then on this side, see, and there's a hole here for this, you know, for the strawberries to vent. So what I did is I, I put the clip on this side, then I wrapped it around the middle, see, and then I get it on the other side. So it doesn't get tangled because these are hard to untangle. They're very wiry. And then what I do is after I do that, I take my, my kale box, open that for me, and then I put it in here and then I have in here some extra poopy bags. And I have this extra one in case um, I have ever, ever find like a big dog and I have to control him or something. I just happen to have that. So I keep it in here. But I could use it for my dog also, but it's big. So if there's ever a big unruly dog or something that I have to contain because it got away from its owner, I can use that. Because that happens. People's dogs get away from their spaces, right? And then you have to try to catch them because they're going to take off and you want to help the owner get their dog. Okay, so I'm going to show you the bunkhouse when you come in come in through here see that's the living room out there and this curtain here okay and so here you see right here when the when you walk in i have the ikea hooks that i talked about in my other video so see when the summertime we don't use them but in the winter time we have our they have their hoodies and stuff here so see the, see the hooks okay then this is my son's bunk and i have the light on now because it's almost evening so that way you can see it and what I have is brown sheets here because I don't have comforters or anything on here. Um, he just sleeps on the sheet and that's it. And then I put that little shelf for him so he can put his iPod up there and tissue. And he has some of his favorite stuffed animals here. And then he keeps his blanket down here and his flat sheet folded here in case he gets cold at night. And that's that's the way the bed's made. Every morning if he uses the sheet, it gets folded and tucked under and we don't have to look at it. This gets removed. He only sleeps on the pillow. That's why it's brown. And then see over here, this is the ladder. That's why he gets the top bunk with the ladder because it's easy for him to go to the bathroom at night. Then they have a wardrobe here. Now half of it is my son's and then the other half is Armando's over here. Armando has two drawers here and Christian has two drawers here. And right now I have a night light on because it's dark back here. And I, I have night lights on all over the RV at night the bunk and then this curtain is a shower uh, tension rod and then this is a shower curtain from Walmart that I bought it's the one that goes on the outside but it's a good thick um, material and all I did is I folded it over I folded it over because if you leave it one it's very um, if you have the light on you can see through it and I folded it over and 
but Christian uses it at night so he has some privacy he likes his privacy at night and then right there you can see and you don't even have to hem it if you don't want to because you might not, not want it later on so see so that's the privacy he has privacy there and when he doesn't need to you can just slide it open see so this is like ten dollars you can get two I mean if if you wanted to you can cut this in half and you would have two curtains because you could use the other one for somebody else um, for another bunk but it's just him here so. so then this bunk is the other side and this bunk I have another bunk on the bottom and I I have the bed ready for him in case Armando wants to go to sleep early because he goes to sleep about 8 30 so it's basically the same as Christian's except that I have the sheet out and the pillow and it took off this other pillow and I put it up here for now but this is Missy's bunk I took the bed out and I put a rug here for Missy so she could scratch it and then her litter box is over here and then up there I keep towels and throws in case we're outside and it gets chilly at night we want to sit out and then these are collapsible bins that I had in my house that I have two of them and in this one I put all our stored water in here and I have to go refill it all our water bins and then I have a dish pan on the bottom in case they break or something in case and then in here I keep my dog's food and my cat food which are big containers and then I keep our binoculars and anything extra like toys or books that Christian wants to bring we'll put them in this bin so these are collapsible we don't need to use them all the time but we use them a lot and then the litter box gets put in here see it's a sealed litter box so it's out of the way so when you walk into the back bunk you don't see the litter box back here and Missy has her little scratcher here and she's actually looking out to the fifth wheel that's there because they have a cat out there that they they let him out to anyway that's the bunkhouse look at this cuteness understand it she's so asleep look at her little feet up isn't that cute I'm not even gonna wake her up she looks so cute oh this is why I RV because she can be comfortable here because she feels at peace up here she has her own bunk she has all her stuff here the dogs Missy's the only one with her own bunk because the dogs bother her and she gets stressed you have your own little place now I love you Missy I love you